Good morning, traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Wednesday, October 26. Not much movement yet again, but we did get uh, managed to uh, close to the downside, so in the red for all of the indices. Uh, NASDAQ continues to hold up pretty well. Uh, that was based on Apple. Uh, everybody figured Apple was going to report some big stellar numbers, and sure enough, they came in very light, uh, forecasting lighter than expected. Uh, and Apple actually sold off pretty hard. I'm going to show that Apple chart to you. Uh, and a few people asked me, please do some analysis on Apple. And by the way, if you um, uh, need any charts or any uh, any stock you want me to cover on the morning call video, send it to support and I'll get it out there for you guys. All right, so anyway, um, I mentioned many months ago that Apple is a mature growth stock. Uh, and unless they, they uh, start coming out with some... Uh, new inventions or, uh, or new products, if you will, other than the Apple iPhone and the iPad and the Mac, um, you know, there's really not much they can do in, 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 uh, except continually improving. Um, so Apple uh, sold off a little bit yesterday, and so did the NASDAQ, and of course all of the indices heavily weighed in a lot of ETFs and indexes um, in the United States here. And also, our uh, independent American Petroleum Institute came out with their um, in crude uh, inventory numbers, and it was a huge build, worse than expected. Um, so crude oil is tumbling right now as we speak. That should help the bearish case to the downside. Uh, our TMT model, again, is still on a sell signal, so we should be looking to sell rallies uh, in the indexes. Um, let's get right to it, guys. Okay, right now we have the... Uh, NYUD, which the uh, advanced decline, New York Stock Exchange advanced decline with volume. I've shown this to you before. This is part of our TNT trading model. And you can see here that we are below zero. We have been uh, pretty much most of September and uh, all of October and finishing up at the end of, the, uh, of October as we speak. I do think that we break down here. And, uh, and I think that the Hillary Clinton presidential bid is already uh, won. Everybody sees that. Uh, the numbers are in pretty much. And uh, I think it's priced in. And I also think that um, I wouldn't uh, count Donald Trump out uh, because there could be a lot of secret voters, meaning that, you know, they, they don't want to voice their opinion. They go in there and they vote for Donald Trump. That could still happen. Um, so there's a lot of uncertainty. And I think that uh, a lot of the bigger plays are going to be jockeying for positions prior to the election and after the election. So uh, I think we see volatility picking up. Volatility means opportunity for us traders, so uh, just keep that in mind. So um, not really looking too good here, lower lows and lower highs here. You can see here in the NYUD, and I just want to point that out to you guys. You can see here, bing, 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 and we're below zero. So um, not looking too good while we're still heavily elevated at these levels in the spiders. Next is going to be the Apple chart I wanted to show you. I think a logical pullback here is going to be the 110 area, 111. You can see that here. Let me just draw that for you guys. Um, didn't want to put too many uh, charts, but 110, 111 is going to be the spot. That's, that'll be that first. We had that gap fill here. So I think logically we'll lose the 20, which we already did in the pre-market. This is after, or this is uh, at the close, so this does not show you pre- and post-market hours. So we've lost that already. I think the next flush is going to be 110, 111, and then we would reevaluate it. Not saying that, you know, to go out and sell your Apple, but uh, to buy Apple up here is just lunacy, just crazy that many people keep, continue to buy Apple, think that it's going to go to 130. Um, the, the, their business model, they need to change or they need to add. Uh, their watch isn't doing good. They scratched the, uh, the Apple car, you know, the Apple TV, big deal. I think it was a bust as well. Um, so, you know, look, great products, but um, and you have to realize a lot of the hedge funds are out of this. When you see all retail and only retail in it, that's your cue to say, hey, you know what, maybe I should cut the cord a little bit or cut half off at, at a profit. Uh, so just something to think about here um, going forward. But as you can see, bottom of the channel here is right around 110, 50-day moving average right around 111. So that's that's my, my downside target, and then I would reevaluate it. The 38% retracement would also be a logical spot right around 107, 38, 108, okay? So that's for you Apple lovers out there. Next is going to be uh, WTI. I've mentioned to you before, I said, guys, we're over here at the top. Uh, heavy, heavy resistance, and I also mentioned and I pointed out the uh, commitment to trade reports that have the producers that take them that take oil out of the ground are hedging big time at fifty, fifty-two dollars. Not a timing tool, but when you see the producers, that's a smart money now, thinking that well, oil is not going to get too much more than fifty. 
uh, you have to realize why would you want to buy oil at 50 if the producers are hedging what they get, what they get out of the ground. So um, their API number came out bad. We have the Department of Energy coming out with their numbers today, 10:30 Eastern here in the United States. Keep an eye on that. But the Baker Hughes rig count continues to rise, and anything above 50 or around 50, everybody's going to go back online and produce an oil. They need to make money. So uh, you just got to really be careful. I think a logical pullback, uh, pullback is going to be somewhere around 46, 47 dollars, right up in this area here. This is the area where where the OPEC talks were right here, that big engulfing candle. I think it gets right back down here and then reevaluate the move. Um, so don't don't get too crazy looking to get long uh, oil here. Get a decent pullback in oil before you look to buy it. Okay. Next is going to be um, gold. And, you know, I like gold. I think gold's in a second stage bull market. I don't like gold here. Uh, why? Classic, classic bear flag. Classic bear flag. Um, I think we have to obviously have to break this bottom of this trend line in order for it to work. And I think you get right back down here to um, anywhere around 1220 to 1260, right up in here. So 38 to 50 percent retracement. I think you lose this low, and I think you get down to this area here, uh, right around that that 12. Let's call it 1220 to 1250. That's an area that I love to really look to start nibbling in gold. Okay, but I think you get one more downside move um, in gold. Next is going to be the GLD. Just wanted to show that to you as well. And you can see here lower lows and lower highs. So a MACD and RSI really isn't confirming this is a big move and we're going to start taking out the highs. For a trade, absolutely. But for uh, anything to buy and hold, I would not wait. I wait for a bigger flush lower back down into the 115, 118 area here. See that gap area? This is what I'm looking for right up in here. 118, 115, 116, right up in here, guys. Let's fill that gap and then uh, that would be a better area to look to start uh, nibbling into a long trade in, in gold. GDX, same thing. Um, you could see bear, they're all bear flags. So you could see a uh, classic bear flag. Let it start breaking down a little bit. I like to see it take out this low, that interim low here that we had in early October, and then look to get into the 18 to 20 area in GDX. Okay? Next is going to be um, these, the indexes. And you can see here, uh, I opened it up here, that pennant we broke down. This is just another bear flag here. Uh, we should be breaking down here. We're going to be well below that 2417 close. We'll be below that. We're going to be back below this big bearish rising wedge. And if we do close, give me two closes below that. That'll act as a, as a trigger, meaning that this, this wedge has been uh, um, uh, acted as a, as a trigger that we're actually started uh, moving lower. And then uh, that's something that I'm looking for. As you know, I've been calling a 210 print in the spiders uh, since we broke down from up in these areas here back in September. Okay, uh, and look at the more, look at the indicators. They're not doing well. So this is why I'm saying, you know, um, don't don't get too caught up into the uh, the euphoria of buying the market here. Spider 60 minute, and I want just want to show you guys. Here is our premium trade pro trader premier video. Uh, this is just one of the 60 minute. We show you um, we cover all of the indices, gold and oil. So it's something that you guys should come in, take a look at, get, uh, sign up, and also our trading room is is fantastic. I mean, you got to come in and check out the trading room, guys. Um, we, we put out our automated algorithm signals here. It's fully fully automated. We put our signals out in our trading room, uh, so we give you some analysis work as well. So come check that out as well. Here's a 60 minute. We back we're back into this new range, this old range, excuse me. Where we pop back in. So as you can see here, these are your areas, these are your levels that we're looking for, and then we tighten them up going into a 15 minute chart as well. Transports. Not doing too much of anything. We've pretty much had an inside day for the last couple of weeks, but look what's happening here. We're breaking back down again. All right, this is not a good sign that we can't get any momentum to the upside. We just continue to falter up at these areas here. Next is going to be the IWM. And again, IWM looking pretty weak. This is our secondary leader here, okay? Our main leader is going to be the transports, not doing much. Our secondary leader is going to be IWM Russell. It's not doing too much. We take out 120, we'll flush to the 38% retracement. More than likely, we'll take back this move. Look at this thin zone that we have here. If we lose this area, that 38% retracement, even at 120, we should flush all the way back down to that area, 115, and then again, we would reevaluate it, okay? And last is going to be the Qs. As you can see, Qs was the strongest, but should be the weakest. Should cover this gap today. Just should fill this gap or part of it today because of Apple being weak. We do have Amazon and we have Google on tap for today and tomorrow. 
So that could change things again. But, uh, you know, remember, guys, everything is bullish. is one-sided. So if everything is bullish, you have to be careful here because once the exit doors open, there's only one door out, remember. And everybody's going to be running for the gates here. So uh, I'm not saying that it's going to happen today, tomorrow. It could even be after the election. But just use caution. Start protecting your positions while volatility is cheap at the moment, okay? Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.